guys, welcome to another episode of The Clueless Drinker in the garden again. And today we've got yet another Shepherd named beer brewed for Asta, or at least part of their extra special range. And uh, yeah, today we have the White Chapel Porter coming in at 5.2%. Roast malted richness with hints of spice and chocolate. And I'll quickly read you what it says on the back. Rich warming ale brewed over a unique blend of pale crystal and chocolate malts using chalk filtered mineral water by Britain's oldest brewer. So not really giving too much away, um, apart from the brief description on the front. And uh, yeah, really liking the design of these bottles. Uh, there's just something about them. They're just really nice. Mixing the old with the new, it's retro but contemporary at the same time. And um, yeah, so far I've enjoyed each one that I've tried. And I'll quickly get this open. Uh, not too much going on in terms of smoke. You can see what the beer looks like in the bottle, but I'll pour it in. So yeah, let's pour it nice and thickly. Um, and yeah, colour. It's not, I wouldn't say it's completely black. Then again, it might be because I can't really get a good angle of it. But uh, yeah, it's very, very dark. You definitely can't see through it. And uh, in terms of colour, there's like a really dark um, mahogany sort of colour to it. Beer poured with probably just under a finger's worth of rather thin, big bubbles here and there but it is seemingly rather compact, just left a layer of scum, about you know off-white colour but um, yeah that definitely looks like what you'd expect from a porter and uh, yeah even though it's a plastic plastic bottle a glass see-through bottle and um, it looks so much better in the glass but um yeah anyway let's give this a swirl and a sniff oh yeah i'm definitely getting that roasted malt presence straight away ever so slightly getting um a smoky char grilled meat sort of smell definitely picking up a coffee in there a really strong espresso very slight chocolate hints as well in there. But yeah, it's smelling very bitter already. So um, yeah, it smells like it's going to do the job. Let's see if it tastes like it can. Wow. You instantly hit with a very strong bitterness. Not an unpleasant bitterness, but it surprises you on your first sip and you're getting like an instant instant smoky woody flavor in there i'm getting flashbacks to um trying or drinking i should say because it's one of my favorite beers the um schlenkelo rauch beer although this is more like a a, a wood chip sort of flavour as opposed to like a, a a joint of ham that sort of thing not really meaty on the flavour that's what I'm trying to say but um, yeah it's just definitely a strong bitterness in there and I am getting very slight coffee notes actually you do get more of like a coffee aftertaste like a black espresso not really picking up too much of the chocolate to be honest and you'll have to apologize if i'm squinting the sun's directly pointed at me roast malted richness with hints of spice and chocolate it's definitely spiced you're definitely getting a spicy kick in there it's not really too drinkable in the sense that you're not going to swig this down because it's very rich it's very strong very stark and uh, yeah, that's probably one of the strongest, bitterest stouts, I mean porters, that I've tried in a hell of a long time. And um, if you would have asked me probably a couple of months ago what I thought about this one, I'd be like, this is just not for me at all. But now that I've tried a few more beers similar to this, um, it is really nice, but it is very powerful, very powerful in the flavour. And um, 
excuse me, although only 5.2%, you're still going to be taking your time with this one. Uh, you don't want to rush this one at all, and uh, it's becoming warm again, so it's not really a good beer for this sort of environment. Maybe on an autumn or winter night. Um, I could imagine this being absolutely sensational to cook with. Absolutely sensational. It's really packing quite a punch. And in terms of mouthfeel, it's not too creamy because you're getting a lot of carbonation in there. But it's not exactly thin. Um, but in the context of the style, it works absolutely brilliantly. And uh, yeah, this is a very high quality um, porter, it has to be said. But yeah, still, it's not really my sort of thing, but I'm going to happily finish this one off. And um, yeah, it is very roasty, smoky, charred, woody, earthy, spicy. Uh, it's definitely described almost perfectly. Aside from the chocolate, you're only really getting the chocolate on the sniff. Uh, but yeah, out of 10, um, I'm going to give this one probably, and I've been given a lot of beers this score, an 8 out of 10. Um, I don't know, there just seems to be something lacking in this for my personal tastes, but I'm not going to hold that against Shepherd Neem at all because obviously this is very specific. But if you want a nice, smoky, dark, roasty, bitter, sharp porter, then do yourself a favour and check out the White Chapel Porter because it's doing its job. Probably in like, maybe if I reassess this next time in England, I could potentially give it a higher score or a lesser score because I've drunk more porters. But um, yeah, this is a very solid beer. Um, it's probably the beers out of the box that I bought so far that um, if you're looking for new beers and you want to get away from the lagery sort of stuff, um, yeah, you're probably going to struggle with this one. But if you like your porters, then definitely give it a try if you can. I don't know, it could have a bit more chocolate presence for my liking. It's just a bit too stark and bitter for my taste. And it could be, I don't know, slightly balanced more. But then again, you might be breaking away from the style. So, um, yeah, there's really nothing they could really change too much um, for me. But it's just my own personal taste. So anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. If you want to check out more of Shepherd Neem's beers and look up the brewery, then I'll put their links down below. If I find any, I'm sure there'll be other reviews online. Check those out for a more informed opinion. And uh, yeah, check out the Clueless Drinker playlist. So um, yeah, I'm going to take my time with this one. And I shall see you in the next review. Cheers guys.